second second practice with with Doc. Um, kind of able to use some stuff from the last one immediately. Uh, what does what does that kind of do uh, for you all? Where where you're getting some practice, you're getting some install, uh, but you're also able to maybe apply it immediately to see some success. Yeah, um, I mean, obviously, just to come in and uh, just just rep things out. Uh, you know, talk through some things, uh, watch some film, clean some things up. I think it's always good just to um, see it on on tape a lot more. Uh, you know, when you're in game, uh, things move so fast, the ball moves so fast that sometimes you don't you don't see things sometimes. But uh, it's good to get in practice and you know things slow down and have a coach that automatically tells you what he expects and what he wants uh, kind of makes it uh, more simple for the guys on the, on, the, on the floor and the guys coming um, off the bench to automatically know uh, what's expected um, of them on a daily basis and uh, what our um, you know what our principles is that he's trying to uh, you know put in. Uh, you mentioned the other day guys had a film session that you said you didn't go with Bobby Knight or anything, but mm -hmm. probably wasn't fun. Um, what is it like to have a coach like that that is willing to get after you and kind of tell you what's going on and what you see? I think it's uh, really, really needed, uh, especially the point of the season where we're at, um, what, we're 53 games and it's 29 games left. I feel like the season is just winding down, you know, so fast and things come so fast at you that uh, kind of need a, guy, uh, a coach just to keep it real with you on what's going on. Uh, you don't fake the funk. He calls it how he sees it. And you have to ultimately respect that. Uh, I think it kind of makes you better as a player. And uh, I know me as a guy, I've always had coaches that's always been on me. Um, always pushed me to be the best I can be um, on the team I'm on. And uh, happy to have Doc as our coach. Uh, I think he's done a hell of a job. Um, obviously, we might have lost some games or whatever it was, and people make a big deal out of it. But I think in the, even in the games we've lost, I think we've kind of trended in the right direction, and that's all you can really ask for uh, you know, right now. And uh, I think we're um, our team is just – Continuing to get better and you know finding, uh, trying to find the rhythm. What ways, in what ways do you feel your team has gotten better in the last two? Weeks? Um, I think we made big strides on the defensive end of the floor. I think we've kind of simplified things to make it better for you know the the guys that's on our team. Um, not trying to get in too many scramble situations. Just trying to keep the ball in front of us more. I think that's been a big emphasis, and I think that's been working. Um, obviously against, you know, Minnesota, had some slippage, first game back off a road trip, always tough, don't make any excuses. But I think besides that, I think we've played, you know, great defense and been in games where we could have won and think our defense has held up and kept us in games where maybe we should have won, but we didn't. But uh, tip your hat to the other team, they win and you move on. Practices themselves. What's the biggest difference in these practices under Doc compared to maybe what you would typically have a practice this time of year? Um, I think more times than none this time of the season, where it's February, All Star break is next week. Um, you don't want to probably do too much. It's more of a teaching thing where uh, guys are learning. Uh, you know where to cut on certain plays. If a guy pops, if you're the middle guy in the slot line, then you might want to cut because the DHO to the corner is going to get opened up. It's a two-on-two -two situation where you have to read and react and play off of guys. I think we're starting to figure that aspect of the game where on offense it isn't so much clogged up where um, if you pop, then there's a guy right there that's stunning at you for the for the three or whatever it is, if that makes sense. So I think we've cleaned up a lot, um, especially today, uh, extended practice where uh, we know exactly what they want from us. And that's big, man, as a competitor, as a basketball player, to know um, exactly what's expected of you um, to impact your team in a in a good way. Uh, what's the you, – you, someone who always talks about peaking at the right time, right? Like yeah. Your best bet. In this scenario, what is the right 
time? When is the right time? So I'm sure if this was yeah. three years ago, you'd say, oh, well, normally, whatever. Is it different now? Is it yeah, are you nah. looking at April, March, or what's... No, nah, I think um, basketball just stays the same, man. Uh, the NBA season stays the same. Um, the teams that generally peak around April, May are the teams that go on and go farther, you know? Um, so I think us, it's about just building our habits on a daily basis, trending in the right direction, but wanting to peak late March, early April to be the best we can be. Uh, like last year, we were rolling around this time, might, might have won 16, 17, 15 straight games, and then it didn't really matter, you know, like, so I think um, we got to take the good with the bad. Um, obviously, we don't want to lose games, but I think with, with you know, limited practice time, I think we kind of try things in the game that we probably wouldn't normally do, you know, like we try new things because, you know, there isn't no such thing as, I want to say no such thing as practice, but like there's just no time for it. You know, you get off a road trip, you know, 11 days, the day you get back is a travel day, so you can't practice that day, then you go right into it back to back. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, where's the time to build it? The, our time to build it is in game situations. And I think we've been cool with that. Um, obviously, we lost some games where we probably should have won, but I think we're trending in the right direction. And um, if you're a fan of basketball and you know the game, I think that you can see that. Uh, I mean, you've been the yeah. Are you worried about that? Nah, man. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a different, man. Like, you know, I seen somebody tweet that, like, he's in the running, he could take a spot, whatever it is. It's just different, man. Like, you know, we two different people. Uh, obviously, we play with an edge, uh, intensity, whatever it is. But, uh, nah, it's just different, bro. I, I, I can't even explain it, man. It's just, you got to be me to know it, man. You know, <laughs> yeah, it's just different, man. Yeah. I mean, it's great, man. Um, first, uh, first and foremost, man. Shout out to Pat Bell, um, Arkansas alumni. You know that's my pride and soul. You know, so having a guy that's from, you know, I mean, he's not from where I'm from, but he went to school where I went to school. That uh, plays, you know, with the ass like I do. And man, you know, just it's fun just to have another guy out there to take the technicals from me, man. You know, <laughs> he can have that. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Just to have another guy go out there and just. You know, mix the game up a little, muck the game up, man. Sometimes, you know, you can't go out there and hit 25 threes, man. Sometimes you got to get your hands dirty, you know. You were at Arkansas. Did he ever come back to campus? Did you ever see him? Nah, man, but uh, we had an athletic trainer, uh, Dave England. I think I think he'll be very excited that I said his name on the camera, right? You know, Dave England. He's a long-time um, trainer of Arkansas there. Uh, through all the good times that we had, bad times as well, 30-year trainer. Uh, he actually retired uh, four, three, four, five years ago. Uh, he was both our athletic trainers, so he definitely told me plenty Pat Bell stories um, in my two years at Arkansas. That's definitely one of his favorite players.